Okay, now we can test the registration operation. So open your browser. On the address bar, type localhost. Uh, go to PHP MyAdmin. And here is our database, and here is the table. Now open that table. Now there is no data available on that table. So now we can run the application. Select a virtual device. And now go to the registration form. Okay, now here we are going to add a new user. Okay, add some new user. Specify name. Specify the name as Thomas. And now specify some email address. Thomas at uh, abc.com. Uh, now specify some password. I provide the password as password. Now confirm that password. And click the register button. Now here is the progress dialog. Now this is the response from server. Registration success. So now we add a new user to the table. Now we can check the table. So refresh the content. And here is the newly added user. Okay. So now I try to register the same user again. So specify the same name, Thomas. Uh, now try to enter the same email, Thomas at abc.com. So in this case, the registration must fail. And now specify the password. Use the same password. Now confirm that password. and try to register and now this is the response from server registration failed the user is already exist on the database that means now the registration operation working fine now in the very next episode we are we are going to start the login operation coding